Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a short uh, video of Tom B's electric steam locomotive outline. Um, uh, disregard the track, it's just a temporary track I threw down on the ground and just shimmed up to uh, <laughs> get it level. Uh, I just wanted to do a couple of runs for my granddaughter and my kids. So I still have it out, just thought I'd do a quick uh, video for those who may not be familiar with Tom B's electric outline steam locomotive. Uh, Tom B, many of you might know him from building trucks and couplers and some cars and things like that. He sold the company a few years ago just to concentrate on building the uh, electric steam engines. He really likes building these. And uh, this is number 18. It's the 18th one that he has built. I added the marker lights and diamond plating on the running boards and some of the detail, but uh, for the most part, this is the way it was delivered to me. Uh, it runs on 36 volts batteries. I'm refueling it right now with the extension cord onboard charger. Uh, six volt batteries, there are six of them for 36 volts. I did the, uh, the striping and, and so on. When he delivers it, it's just painted black. Um, but just to give you an idea of uh, what it's all about, I have the, the cover off to, to charge. But in the cab here, if you can get in here, uh, we have the main power switch, which when you turn it on, lights up the firebox. There's a light in there so you know you got power. Then we have a compressor for air brakes. Then we have the amplifier. This is a spare switch, and then you also have cab lights if you want to run those. So it's, it's in the cab. I added the diamond plate decking. Um, added the handrails, uh, armrest, I mean. Um, so the sound is on. We'll let that uh, charge up. Put the covers back on over the batteries and you have the simulated coal on top and there's a cable that runs through from the locomotive and that goes up here to the control box i've made a new cover with uh, the labeling on it uh, this is the controls for the tom b electric locomotive this is basically a ford in reverse main power out and off Headlight on and off, sound up and down, runs on a Phoenix sound card, whistle, air brake, lever here, the pressure there, throttle, and your bell on and off. And then this riding car or control car, whatever you want to call it, is something that I made. Um, it was just a, basically a frame and a beat up wooden box. So I made the running boards and the handrails and the cushion, um, and this makes a nice storage compartment. This just lifts off. And then there's a, actually a backrest that you can put on here. Uh, and then, of course, this is all has air brakes. The connection is this black hose here, which goes from the tender to the car. The locomotive has air brakes on it. The tender has air brakes. This riding car has air brakes. And then I just grabbed one of the riding cars. I have a number of these that look like the lumber cars. And uh, this also has air brakes. Again, the connection right here. And you can just keep adding on air brakes as needed. I mean, cars with air brakes, or you don't have to have air brakes on all of them. So it's a nicely detailed lumber car. Did you see that? Now we're on a uh, about a 4% grade right here on the railroad again this is just thrown down the final railroad when the track is built will probably be around two and a half to three and a half percent it's going to be fairly steep all right so we're going to back it up and uh, we'll go for a little ride so turn on the throttle it's already in reverse turn the bell on Knock the brake off. That is so steep, we're going to start moving without any throttle. 
so we need to regulate the brakes. Give it a little throttle. Take off the brake. There we go. Need some throttle. Take off the throttle, give it some brakes. There's a little bit of a hill here, so we need to give it some. Turn that bell off. We need to give it some throttle. I know I should be looking the other way, but I already went down the track and I know that it's clear. Give it a little bit of brakes. If you're into air brakes, this is a great railroad to uh, play with the brakes. Get a good brake handling between that and the throttle. Okay, off. We run a little bit of a hill here. And then we go downhill from there. Nice view of the stream. We're no throttle right here, we're just working the brakes. Give about 40 psi. Okay, knock it off a little. Here we go. Give it some throttle. bit of an upgrade. Coming up on our stop sign. Getting near the end here. So we're going to apply brakes. All right, there we go. Now we go up here, we go forward. Oh, I guess I should have the headlight on. <laughs> Give it some bell. Give it a little throttle. Knock off the brake. Bell off. More throttle. Here we go. about a one and a half percent incline right here grade a 2% grade right here. Alright, now we're, this is about a, going into a 4% grade. Back on the throttle, give it the brake. That's it. I'm going to back it down to the charging station. So put it in reverse. Put the bell on. Knock off the brake. I'm going to start drifting back without any throttle. So I'm going to work the brake. Brake. 
more break around the 4% grade right here. And this is about it. This is that. No, a little more. Where my extension cord is. That's it. And we're there. Got about 60. Now we got 40 pounds pressure. And with the Phoenix sound card, the engine just sits here and does its thing. The injector comes on and off, safety valves. You can hear guys shoveling coal. Um, it's really cool. Brakes squealing. Here's with the headlight on, the marker lights. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a little overview of the Tom B electric steam locomotive. He's still making them. As far as I know, this is number 18, the 18th one he built. I think he's over 20 now. Um, all a little bit different. You can have them uh, designed any way you want. Uh, this is a, a 260 and it has a blind driver in the center right there because I, I will have some sharp curves on the railroad so I wanted to make sure that uh, it, it would accommodate that that was something new for Tom and it worked out really well uh, so now he can I think this can go down to about a 30 foot radius maybe even a little bit uh, tighter I should have around 40 foot radiuses on the railroad so all right, thanks for watching. Hope to see you trackside.